Welcome everyone to another Howler for an Hour. Today we have Quintus and the Absent Truth. This is a chapter by chapter uh, released game. One of those games that releases new chapters in DLC formats and I guess continues the story along as it goes. The first chapter is free. Second chapter is what I got a key for. Apparently a third chapter just released too. Uh, I'm not sure how I feel about chapter based release games. They can be good sometimes. I'm kind of curious about this one since it stars Quintus the Mouse. And it uh, looks pretty, pretty interesting. But before we begin, if you like this video, do give it a like. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Apparently we say this has actually increased the sub subscription numbers, so hey, cool. <laughs> let's, let's keep it going, let's keep the momentum up. And of course, do come by my uh, Twitch if you can. You get to see my content early, you can interact with me, and you can help me reach partner, which will honestly improve my content if we reach it. Like for everyone, including YouTube, so. And also we have a pretty cool Discord uh, server you can check out if you want to hang out with some cool people. Now let's play before the game's music gets more menacing than it already is. What is... Do, 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 do. What's gonna happen? Now I have mouse? Okay. <laughs> Ironically, the game about a mouse wasn't giving me control on the menu with a mouse until just now for some reason. I have no idea what triggered that. Alright, sure. Let's play Chapter 1 Forgotten, which is the free one, and then we'll play Misled. I assume these are not super long, but I don't know. I, I did say that, Silver, to be fair. Settings. Uh, well, I appreciate these all being off by the at the beginning. I guess that would be inclusions all right, though. These could stay off. I appreciate motion blur disabled by default. I appreciate that. It's actually seemed like pretty reasonable settings. Any game that starts with motion blur off is a game I approve of. <laughs> So, Wasid, Mouse, E, Q, Jump. Pretty standard. Pretty standard first person controls. Gotta press the any key though. Well, that's not, on the, that's not on the key list. Wait. Despite saying press any key, I am pressing all the keys and it does not give a shit. It doesn't want controller input. It wants controller input. Press any key as long as it's not your controller. Fuck your keyboard. <laughs> I guess, you know, the, the any key on an Xbox, it's between the back and start buttons. Huh. I was gonna say, this game has no shadows, but then a shadow just dropped over everything. This game has an odd art style. Also, sometimes no shadows, and sometimes nothing but shadows. <laughs> Can you turn the light on for me? D -d take your time, Quintus. <laughs> Leisurely stroll. To be fair though, we're super lazy. Like, I could reach over and turn the light, but let's, let me make my mouse do it. Mouse. Right, little buddy. Let's go. Ah. Uh. Okay, despite having mouse control on the menu, game is like, you have a controller plugged in, you're using the fucking controller. I get a game. Okay, oh, wow. Oh, my God. This is my turning rate? This is Mac... Okay, hold on. <laughs> Out of... I feel like, uh... Okay, here's... Let me just say this one thing, because I'm going to actually... I'm going to disconnect my controller in the hopes that this returns me to mouse move it. It does not... Oh, oh, now I've lost all control of the game. <laughs> I've lost all control of the games as close to the menu. <laughs> okay, so developer and developers in general. It's great to have options between keyboard and controller support. And I know some people love playing first person games with controllers. I prefer keyboard and mouse. I prefer mouse looking around. It feels much better. Um, but if a controller is plugged in, you shouldn't make the game automatically take priority of that. Even if the game is programmed in such a way that you 
can't have it easily swap between keyboard and controller. Some games can't swap very easily between those two controller inputs at the same time. Uh, controller inputs at the same time. But even if so, give the player an option at the beginning saying, do you want to use controller? Yes, no. Uh, because just automatically using a controller simp slip simply because it's plugged in, that's a little passe. Let me alt F4 the game for a second, because that's literally the only way I can interact with it now. The controller is now completely unplugged, which I presume means, well, at least you get to see this intro now, YouTube. This is such a weird developer company name. Rectangle Games. Also, uh, there's something to put in perspective. Episode, uh, chapter one is free. Chapter two is five dollars. Chapter three is five dollars. I don't know how many chapters it's gonna have, but ch chapters two and three, both five dollars. So, I want to point that out because I feel like that's important to note. Um, oh god, no, I didn't I actually close the game. I was gonna hit continue, but, well, whatever. So I want to point this out because you gotta pay it, yeah, it's, it's, it's episodic, which... I'm not sure if episodic game like episodic games exist, right? And there's some good ones like, um, well, I'm sure a lot of people like the Telltale games. They were episodic. Um, there's that one game that involves the oh goodness me, I don't remember. A few years back, involves two teens, Oregon town with like Stranger Things going on. Uh, it was like, wait, wait, that's right. Let's hit continue. Will that bring us back to... Okay, good. Obviously, I couldn't judge, like, was $5 reasonable? For each chapter? I... It has to be quite a, quite a lengthy chapter to be worth it, I'd say. And the game has to be, well, decent. At the very least. Also... Just a ch nope, there's no skipping the intro. Okay, just double checking that. Life is strange, yeah, that's it. So there's are there are some examples of good episodic games. But I feel like that model is not one that should just be taken and done nilly willy. I feel like you need to offer a really polished experience to be worth episodic releases. Because you are making, you are generally going to be making the players pay for each episode, which, I mean, you know, could work out, but. Oh, morning, Quintus. Oh, I can look up and down now. You turn the light on for me? Just up and down, though, that's it. I don't know, man. I prefer just, just have a flat price and release the content over time. So I guess episodic releases does make it more clear, like, hey, there's a big con content update, but still, there's, I mean, you can do it in multiple ways. Right, little buddy. Let's go. All right, I have proper mouse controls, and all it took was literally severing the connection of my controller to my computer, because options are for no, for noobs, I guess. Daily Brief. Where is Alan Shaw? I don't know. Where's Alan Wake? Uh, the deck we have no music, no concerts, or even a single note on sheet paper. Alan Shaw used to be one of the greatest composers of our time, but what happened to this once renowned composer? Find out on page 13. And over there we have. Oh, what is that? The title. I can read it. Win a holiday. Okay, I like winning holidays. Ah, yes, I love my double sided newspapers where no matter the way you open it, you can get the same news. Very, very convenient. January 2nd, 2011. Oh, yeah. I never noticed that you can usually... In, in, in a lot of games these days where you can interact with an object and you can read some, like, scroll text or something, there's always a button to see it in, like, plain text, and I never notice it until I'm done reading. <laughs> and we must be the music person, because, look, we have all these... Best Composer, 1998. Best Composer, 1995. Best Composer, 1993. 1994. 1997, wait. 93. 94. 95. 97. 98. 2000. Okay, you dropped the ball in 96 and 99. What the fuck, dude? Let's see what we got here. I 
I just can't. Why? Well, just enjoy it. Pianos are fun. You don't need to play good on them all the time. They probably should consider you winning awards and stuff. They hurt his hand or something? Why I'm you sure stop? I've forgotten something that's happening today. I better check the calendar. Find the calendar. Well, thank you. I will find the calendar. Oh, silly me. We're stuck in a shadow realm, so light switches are useless. <laughs> hmm. So I like the general, like, just kind of unsettling, slightly horrorish vibe the music's doing, even though there's really no reason for it. I mean, besides being stuck in the Shadow Realm. We should go outside. There's cake for... Why is... Who the... Who the fuck just leaves a cake outside? Oh, I took a nap. I just figured I'd leave the cake outside. Ah, oh, you know, the ants can have it. It's the ants' birthday. Let them celebrate. It's like, it's all of their collective birthdays because they were all hatched at the same time. Oh, we can open this. I'm not sure I like this. I'm not sure I like this art style. I'm not sure how I feel about it right now. Uh, that's a radio. It's an old radio. I hear a plane outside. There is an airport in this town. That's how you get raccoons that ate it. Well, you can celebrate the raccoon. Look, celebrating a raccoon's birthday makes more sense than celebrating an ant's birthday. Raccoons are good. Okay, well, very good radio that we have there. Wait. You literally... Developer took a classical song. Reversed it. Put it on the radio to be spooky. I can tell. I can kind of tell what song this is. I won't be able to name it. Yeah, it's very obvious. He just reversed the song, <laughs> added a stadio <laughs> crackly effect on top of it too. Reversed music. I, I mean, that is that is very low ballish as far as. Uh, horror vibes like how do I make this sound spooky oh I'll know I'll reverse it it's like it's very it's kind of kind of a rudimentary way to I mean it's not I guess it works sometimes but kind of a simple way to create a wet vibe oh 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 I sure love my t <coughs> my temporal bathroom mat this is a very very the only it only appears when you are close to the shower so it only it only shows up when you need it so when you don't need it it just poofs away. It's very convenient. It's out. So, uh, is this Quintus's vent traveling system? Or are we just really lazy about house repairs? Uh, <clears throat> you just play FNAF on Arsenal. What the fuck's Arsenal? Always looking forward. What? <laughs> I'm always looking forward to look at my blank picture frame. It's a really good, it just brings a highlight to my day. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> suddenly there's a picture here. <laughs> All right. That looks almost, no, it doesn't look familiar. Looks similar to something in Oregon that I remember though. Yes, I sure love my picture frames that only display images when I pick them up. Because <laughs> who likes to see it casually when you're just looking across the room? Alright, at this time I'm smart. I'm going to hit E. Dear Alan, Andr Andromeda Music. Dear Alan, after several meetings with, your, with yourself regarding the fact that you have not released any music under the Andromeda Music label for now for 10 years, we're going to have to cut ties with you. We have given you so many chances over the course of 10 years, and you have continuously promised us to appear less down. We cannot go down this path any longer. As you are aware, as agreed in our contract, if a composer, art, composer, artist fails to deliver a set number of albums in a given time frame, we can cancel contract. On top of this, cut any royalties from previously released content. Well, that's a shit contract. You always want to maintain your fucking royalties. What the fuck? <laughs> Alan, why'd you sign a contract like that? <laughs> uh, this is not how we wanted to end this, Alan. We know you've been through a lot, and we have consist constantly supported you through your troubles, but we can't push deadlines back any further. Two years is a long time for no material to be released, unfortunately. 
The name Alan Shaw just doesn't seem relevant anymore. Our apologies, this has not ended the way we wanted. Your first albums are legends, but it appears this musical bottle has been corked. So seriously, sincerely, Charlotte Trinity, A&R representative, Charlotte Trinity? That's like a fake last name you do if you're doing an MLM scheme. <laughs> I really wish we were in the light world. Unfortunately, we're in the dark world. I wonder what that picture is. I bet it, if, if I could pick this up, I bet I could look at it. Unfortunately, it's too big. Our still's a Roblox gun game. Okay, that still doesn't answer why FNAF is in it. <laughs> why is there a seam in the wall? Because, wait, where? I mean, I've seen a few issues. Um, but then again, it might be a secret door, who knows. Near the vent. Oh yeah, that. Well, you, you see, putting together... <laughs> oh my goodness. You can see the tiles of the ceiling, like where things are... You see, because putting graphics together is hard, I guess. I. Let's see a whole bunch of seams there. All right, there we go. Apparently, building apparently having a an intact ceiling is hard to do for some reason. Kid. Ooh. Elephant. I could see that. Giraffe. I like how it takes a second for the name of what I'm looking at to display. It's like the it's like the main character has to think, hmm, I think this is a giraffe. What's this? Piano man? I, I guess so. I I guess so? It's kinda weird. Yeah, I've seen a few wall seams at this point too. Huh. It's good this. Am I s okay? There's multiple images here, but I can't tell. Should I be able to tell? Should I? I have to mouse. Oh no! Should I be able to tell? Is there something wrong? There's there's multiple images here, but I can't fucking tell unless the cursor tells me. Close up. I mean, yes. Try the lights. I mean, last time I didn't do anything. <gasps> lights. Wait, why did the light switch downstairs do nothing? I hit a light switch downstairs, nothing happened. I was like, well, I guess we just don't have lights. That's that's pretty much what happened here. Okay, why did the one downstairs not work then? Fat Mouse. Lydia, six. The light switch downstairs faked me out to thinking that this was just, quote unquote, the game's art style. What the fuck? <laughs> Magic Dust. That's a book. It is a book. Good night, Quintus. Wait, Quintus has his own book deal? Holy shit. Why is the mountain, why is the moon made out of bricks? Fairy days. You know one thing that annoys me when I'm in a adventure game, a adventurous kind of first person game and the main character picks up a book and they look at the book. One thing that always bothers me, because nine times out of ten you may notice this whenever you pick up a book that you can examine, look around, look over the sides of. There's almost never anything on the back covers of these books in, in adventure games. That always annoys me. It's very unrealistic. Who the fuck would release a book about like some sort of blurb on the back? It's free advertising space. I don't know. Funny. Other bunny, but pink. This is quality stream content. Uh, <laughs> so I guess we could turn the lights on. So we could have the blue eliminate. Tiptoe through the tulips. I guess that means I can look at that one painting from earlier. Okay. So some light switches just don't fucking work. I guess we have paid our electric bill, but we paid a little bit of it, so they're like, all right, you know what, we'll let you power some lights in your house, but not all of them. 
Because that's how electricity works. So let's explain why I can see these picture frames, so I picked them up. <laughs> do you think the developer intended these lights not to work, or do you think there's something wrong with the game? <laughs> I wonder. Did I miss you opening rocks boxes? If you're talking about the rocks box you got last stream, I opened it at the end of stream. If you're talking about the rocks box that you just got uh, earlier today, it was a bronze, so I did not open it because it auto opens to bronze. Aside from your box, there has not been any rocks today. Rocks boxes today. Maybe the fuses are out. Well, I guess that makes the most sense. Yeah. Fuses for the rooms. Yeah, that makes the most sense. I'm not entirely sure what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm supposed to find a calendar. Which, uh... Okay. Hmm. Let's see, let's see. Where might a calendar be? Can I turn the lights on and... Here? Okay, I can. I haven't seen heads or tails of a calendar. Uh, FWS TV, good brand. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's Lydia's birthday. But where is she? How would... Oh, it happens to be my daughter's birthday. I just decided to get a cake and put it outside for shits and giggles. But actually, you know, and presents and balloons. I just thought it'd be fun to have the table look a little more festive today. Oh, but it turns out it's Lydia's birthday. That's really convenient, actually, considering I got all that stuff and put it on the table. I guess we can make use of it then. <laughs> like, who the fuck put that there then? It doesn't seem to be implying he has a wife or anything, so. Maybe your wife did all that and you're just an idiot. Perhaps! Perhaps it, perhaps our wife is out. Lydia. There's no Lydia. Now what? What do you want? What do you want me to do now, game? If we did not find Lydia, I will look at all the random objects until the game does tells me to do something else. Oh, what's that in the vent? I can't get it from this side. Maybe I should try the other end of the vent. All right, Quintus, help. I can't reach it. Quintus, do you think you can get it for me? S s slide to victory, Quintus. I don't think he has a walk animation. <laughs> yeah? What's that, Mr. Scary Monster? You need something? Just randomly growling over there. All right. Oh, okay. We have a very smart mouse. You are invited to my party, bird party on June 7th. This is in the backyard. Please dress up as your favorite animal. I will be the bunny. I like how you wrote that on both sides of the paper. <laughs> Lydia? Lydia? Where are you going? She's going to scare Cordis around the corner, as, as, every, as any horror trope would. <laughs> oh no! It's Lydia, slightly scary, disappearing the moment she passes outside of the vision. It's I've locked. never seen that before in a Where horror did game. Put the key. Okay, uh, wait, key? It's a sliding glass door. These normally just have inside locks. You don't need a key for a sliding glass door. I should know. I'm a dog. I run into these. Uh, key. All right. Where is a key? I didn't see a key. Let me guess, there's just magically a key somewhere I've been already now? Yeah, that or I just literally missed a key. What's this? Alan Shaw, one of his records. Perfect. Well, just don't sell your, don't, don't, don't you know, don't, you know, be humble about it, man. It's fine. <laughs> Mus uh, achievement unlocked, music collector number one. Oh, am I supposed to find all the, hold on actually. Now you've made me curious. Let me look at the achievement list. Fursuit party! My heart rate. Ah! Oh. <laughs> uh, apparently, there's, uh... Hmm. There's one record per chapter, one mouse magazine per chapter, 
and completed the chapter. Those are the achievement lists. So there's three achievements per chap. What? Apparently, I have an inventory. I hit tab by accident. So we're, we need to find Mouse Magazine. This is like the play play Playboy, Playboy from Mice. Um. Hmm. A mouse Magazine. I'm curious what's on the Mouse Magazine. Where is Mouse Magazine? It's behind piano. No. No, I can't go behind piano. No, not quite. Actually, wait. If I try really hard, no. Given the achievement list, I'm... I suspect these chapters are not super long, but that's honestly the biggest curiosity. If, if, if chapter one's free, chapter two and three are five dollars, these chapters, I mean, chapter one can be whatever length, I guess, since it's free, but the other chapters should be a bit longer. But that's, that's what I'm kind of curious about, though I'm not really sure. I guess, I mean, due to being confused, this is taking me a bit, but... Hmm. It just occurred to me. I was I thought the shadow thing was an art style, but then again the light was on in the first room I was in. So it was clear there was such a there was a lighting system, but I just kind of forgot. <laughs> Alright, mouse magazine. I mean maybe maybe it's maybe it's in a different room, but Another wall seam. Developer! Put your fucking models together right. <laughs> Dude, it's it's annoying actually at this point. There's just so many. It just feels kind of lazy, you know. If you model, if you're modeling a game and you're like, ah, these walls don't quite fit together, but whatever. Player can't fit through the gap. Doesn't matter. Like I don't know. Just because I can't fit through the gap doesn't mean it's not ruining my experience slightly. He built us through the be through the house with all these holes. Well, how many bugs do you think are getting in thanks to that? Shoddy house construction, I swear. Alright, so I'm supposed to find a key. It's, it's behind a painting or something, isn't it? I, let me re examine everything. I'm, I'm starting to get. I, I mean, maybe, I, I'm, either I missed a key in a very obvious location, or something arb arbitrarily changed. Which do you think it, which do you think it is, guys? Oh. Which do, you, which do you guys think it is? Do you think that I simply missed a key this whole time? Somewhere obvious, and I just am dumb? Or, or less than obvious? Or, do you think that there is now something arbitrarily to examine that wasn't examinable before, or something like that? It's quite possible I just missed it, but... There aren't that many places for this to hide, though. I'm gonna re-inspect everything. Did they use the same painting twice? Did they? I don't think so. Is the photo on the back? Is the key on the back of a photo? Nope. Even the floor, man? Oh god, it just seems everywhere. Could be in one of the dark rooms. Certainly could be. Alright, well, let's go back downstairs. Oh wait, actually no. Let me uh actually return to Lydia's room for a sec. And I will pick up everything again, just to make sure there's not a key randomly pasted on the bottom of the fucking giraffe or something. <laughs> Wait a minute, there is something on the giraffe. Oh, it's HL. HL? Wait a minute. HL. HL? Or line line L? Lydia is her name, L. I, hmm. Oh, no, no key on the elephant's ass, just to make sure. Thing on the book? Not really. Whenever a game lets you rotate objects like this, I'm always wondering to myself, is this just for extra, like, visual detail, or is there... Ha. Huh. <laughs> you notice how the book sits set down and picked up? <laughs> we must have that one underneath the other one. Important. <sighs> Alright, just gonna reverse every single photo now. But I'm never sure when a game lets you look at things and rotate things if, like, you need to look. Sometimes games like, oh, here's a passcode on the back of the paper or something, but you never know. You never really know, you know? 
All right, well, I've, I've, I've inspected everything inspectable in this room. And no, it doesn't seem like I can open dressers and stuff. I've thought of that, but... Oh, well, except for this one, for some reason. Okay. Uh... Ha. Huh. I was getting really desensitized from all the different things that totally do have handles, but I can't open. But then I can just open this. For apparently no reason. Alright. Because there's something there but a blanket I can't interact with. Uh, okay, maybe I'll start checking. Uh, wow. <laughs> I just noticed that. <laughs> I mean, listen. You kind of want the banister to actually line up with the edge of the floor normally. Um, but, you know. Stub your toe nice and good on that. That's good. Yeah. Right, let's let's randomly open other drawers that possibly can be opened. Yep. I'm hearing a lot of planes outside today. I wonder why that is. Another thing that bothers me if I if as if I can open uh, drawers and stuff in it. I've seen I recently watched Manly Badass Hero, who's this uh, YouTuber that does a lot of horror games. I'm watching him play a game where he had to open drawers uh, around this house in the game to find uh, objects he needed, items he needed. I swear the guy opened like fucking 120 drawers in that goddamn place to find like four items, and I just thought to myself, you know what? I feel like sub developers use drawers to pad out gameplay. <laughs> um, and that's the problem with horror games. Some horror games are just like, right, we want to do a jump scare here, we want to do a cool horror thing at the end. But uh, I feel like a lot of horror games, I'm picky with them because, and I think this is a horror game. I think this is going for horror game vibes. Uh, well, I mean, yeah, obviously at this point. But, uh,. I just feel like, I feel like a lot of horror games, they have like an idea for a scare, but they don't have an idea for a game, if that makes any sense. One second. Like a lot of horror games, they kind of have some ideas for some casual scares. If we're lucky, they're decent scares or creative. But a lot of times they're just like, oh no, so a scary little girl ran around a corner. Like, literally, we've seen that before in so many pieces of media, you know? So, if we're lucky, the scares are kind of creative or actually get you. Uh, if you're unlucky, they don't. But regardless, a lot of times you find that these games, they built, they, 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 the developers have intention to do these spooky bits, but they never really seem to think about the gameplay. This is why I'm so picky of horror games, because. I think that so many of them just don't even consider gameplay, so they're like, uh, 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 well, we'll just have the player, like, poke around, look for an item that they need to progress, and, like, we'll let them open drawers and look for the item, and we'll let them try to figure out what items go on what doors to open them, and then we'll give them keys so they can unlock a door in another area so they can keep looking for things. Really fucking compelling game design, guys. Thanks. <laughs> like... I don't know, man. <laughs> I love horror games, technically. I love the idea of horror. Uh, if you haven't seen my Halloween video, go look at that. I'll put... No, I will put a card... I, I would put an end card... I put a video card right here, but then I'm not going to fucking forget when it... Uh, remember when it comes to the actual time to release this on YouTube, so... But I do have a Halloween video... Okay, fine. I'll try to put a video card and I'll see if I can manage to remember. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, I, I like horror a lot. Just, it needs to be done well. Do I need any of these tools? Apparently not. A lot of these drawers are just locked. Well, I mean... You motherfucking asshole. I know for a fact that this key wasn't here. Because earlier, when I was looking at this board, I noticed to myself, that's hung up, 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 that's hung up. Oh, there's a peg with nothing hanging on it. 
I remember this peg having nothing on it. And now it has a key on it. No. Steady. Careful. Ah, damn it. Maybe Quintus can get to the keys from the side. Steady, careful. What 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 was this fucking rocket science? What the fuck? Why did you have so much trouble? <laughs> but yeah, also fuck fuck when an object fuck when you've examined a room in a game and then there's something changes in that room without any clear indication. Fuck that. <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> like, okay, listen, like if you if there's something very obvious like Oh, something changed in that room. I should go back there. Then sure, okay, that's fine. Make the player look around and figure out what changed. But if there's no indication that something changed, then what the hell, man? Also, what about this about the side? Uh oh. What am I supposed to do? Also, it really it really fucks with you if you've examined a room. Like, yeah, if you're if you're in a new room, yeah, you're gonna look around. You're gonna probably find something. But if you already scoured a room and then you are forced to go back and find a new item that's just magically there, it's very likely you're gonna miss that item because you've already scoured the room. You know what's in it. You have a mental image of what exists in that room. So if something now exists differently in the room, if the game's not at least giving you a hint towards that, it's kind of unfair. <laughs> you just need to send Quintus to get the key. Okay, cool. How do I do that? Look at the controls. What's the send? Fit fire reload. Am I gonna get a pistol or something? I mean, I don't know if, if we can even get that far. Um, yeah, I don't see a Quintus key though. R E Q. Tab for inventory. I mean, I do have an inventory, but there's no Quintus in it. I have a crouch. A really buggy crouch that bounces your screen. <sighs> Okay. Uh, side of thing. Okay. Well, like. I mean. The drawers are interactable. So, side of what? Because I'm like, okay, let me try to, like, E prompt on the side of the counter so he goes behind it. But no. What? do you want me to do? Do you want me to go in the adjacent room? For a brief moment, I hoped that I could just grab the key through the wall via being close enough to interact with it, but no. Also, what is this little gap in the wall for? Okay. The game did give you a hint, but it was help yeah, it wasn't helpful. And now, he said for the side, so probably interact with the side beside the shelves, beside the garage door, and the mouse goes behind them all. Do you think so? There oh, motherfucker! Get the key for me, buddy. Nice... Nice work, actually. That was not well choreographed. Yeah? That was fast, actually. Picked up back door key, and picked up back door key also knows Quintus. <laughs> I, how did I pick up the back door key twice, but also one of those times was just a mouse? I mean, the mouse is indirectly the back door key, I guess. <laughs> Again, though, slide glass doors don't have fucking key locks. They have little switch locks, usually. Turn my mouse to a key. I guess I did. <gasps> Lydia, what you doing? Lydia, you're being silly. Lydia, why is your mouth so... Lydia, did you activate the automatic home security system that puts all the sh puts shutters against all the windows? <laughs> or were those supposed to be curtains? <laughs> Lydia, that's rude. Well, I guess I'll have cake. <laughs> Happy birthday, Lydia! Okay, somebody remember Lydia's birthday. Why is there a piano out here? Let's play it. Never mind, it's play itself. Also, here's a key. You found it. I have three back door keys. I am swimming in back door keys. <laughs> of course, it has to be something called back door that I am swimming in. Um, <laughs> did we just move the piano? We moved the piano. Lydia, why did you move the piano outside? Also, how did you do that? You're just a child. <laughs> Lydia, we can't play music outside. It'll get wet. So, what am I doing now? 
So it's like a wander around and fight. Let's go to Lydia's room and get another slight jump scare. Or not. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm just gonna walk around. By the way, while the Quintus does pop up with a little, here's what you need to do next, there doesn't seem to be a way to pull him back up. So if you missed that hint, fuck you, I guess. Oh, no. Just having this thought, just having this hunch that something randomly... Okay, let me check the bathroom that had a locked door. No. Is this just like a fucking I Spy puzzle where I'm like trying to figure out the differences between two states? It's like, there is nothing in this image. What's in this image that's different from that image? They are almost identical, but there is something different on this one. I feel like I'm getting that vibe at this point. Okay, like... What you want me to do, though? Did I miss something here? Can I just open Lydia's presence? Be like, fuck you, Lydia. You're being... You're putting the piano aside. You're locking, you're locking me in the backyard. Fuck you, Lydia. I know it's your birthday. I'm taking your presence. <laughs> um, alright. I don't need a Barbie, but I'm gonna fucking take a Barbie. Um... <laughs> I, I'm starting to get annoyed at this small house. Yes? What? Uh, hello? It's a creepy voice. Breathing? Is Alan Shore. Okay, just creepy voice. Yes. Who is this? What do I have we cuts have on my wrist? Daughter. Okay. Okay, you can keep her. She keeps me with the piano. Wait, is that literally the whole... <laughs> okay, so I know that I... Took a while, but I'd like to point out that that was actually incredibly short. <laughs> and I will, I will, dis I will discern this point by going right back. Oh, we didn't find the mouse magazine, which disappoints me. L let me go over just how quick this game actually is. The moment I gain control of the character, we're doing a speed run. Because now I suddenly realize, like, wait a minute. I say the moment I can control the character because this intro is fucking... Yeah. You can time it yourself using the timer in the top screen. I'll let you know when I have control. As soon as Quintus opens the light, I'm going to try to go as fast as possible. Let's see, what was step one again? Step one was... Does everything unfairly, uh, does everything unfairly extend thing? Yeah, this is a perfect example of a horror game padding shit out. All right. Yeah, I don't have control until Quintus turns on the light. Oh, morning, Quintus. Can you turn the light? I mean, on I guess me? I have this control, but that's an, I don't know. You can count this, I suppose, if you want. But uh, I can move up and down. Okay. So, what was the first objective? I just need to remember what the first objective is. Oh, yeah, calendar. I remember. And control begins now. Right, little buddy. Let's I'm go. I'm sure I've forgotten something that's happening today. Oh, it's Lydia's I better birthday. check the calendar. But ah, <laughs> oh, yes, I'm making the voice actor talk over himself. Perfect. Lydia, Lydia. I actually don't remember. What's the next objective? Shit, <laughs> forgot. <laughs> Quintus, pop up and tell me. Oh, what's that? Oh, that's event? right, the vet. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Lost some seconds there, but that's okay. No, fucking... All right, I guess you gotta walk up to, to actually look at it. <laughs> there, I look... I, look, get it from yeah, I know, that's why Maybe I went the route. The other end of the vent. I can't reach it. Quintus? Do you think you can get it for me? Go get it. I'm going to walk off screen because that seems to make you move faster. So I'm just going to... There. Mm, yeah, so scary... Mo what is exactly the point of the big scary monster sounds, though? You have to wait on Quintus here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, thanks, Quintus. All right. Lydia? Lydia? Where are you going? I'm not a perfect speedrunner, but we could definitely, like... 
Let me guess. Got it. It's locked. Yep. Oh, where did Don't I you love key? it when a game, like, you have to check the lock thing to find before you can get the key? Like, it's fucking stupid when the games do that, but it's clearly doing that, so. Steady. Careful. Ah, damn it. Maybe Quintus can get to the keys from the side. PB hey, is good Quintus, enough for me. Get the key for me, buddy. There, I have, I have, I have nine backdoor keys. That's enough. That will let us speed run faster. <laughs> well, see, yes, the game doesn't remove it quickly. <laughs> Pop. Wait, is the piano just gonna pop in when I'm not when I'm technically when I'm not looking or there? Okay, <laughs> have to look away for it. All right. Hello. I'm gonna take this cord phone this over is here. How Yes. Who is this? We have your daughter. And it. 1332 was the end point. That's all I know. <laughs> that could be done faster, but that was a good example. Two minutes, 50 seconds. Probably could have done it in two and a half minutes. Easily. With a little bit more carefulness. So chapter two, now that I know what I'm in for, here's the thing, that was the free chapter. This is the one that cost $5. So here's the big question. When they start charging money for the chapters, does the quality increase? Does the length increase? Or, are they just a short? Let's keep an eye. Hello? This is how it's sure. Yes. Who is this? We have your daughter. If you want to see her again, come to 6200 Northeast Wilding Road. My old recording studio. I'm driving music is very unhappy that you haven't produced the music. They have kidnapped your daughter, so you produce something. Alright. Right, little buddy. Let's go. You said that in the first episode. You can't repeat that. Come on. Alright, you know what? I'm even going to go. The studio's never opened by key. The receptionist had to buzz you through. Buzz through. Okay, house. got it. I'll have to turn that back on. First. Right, got it. Got it. Power us down. All right, we're doing. Oh God, hello. Uh, sorry then. Huh? What's that? Navi, come back. All right, cool. She's in the secret room. In the secret room. Okay. I can't remember where that is. <laughs> that's where Lydia is. You know, most people can't remember where the secret room is. <laughs> Oh, that's my old recording studio. We have a secret room. I forgot where the secret room is, though. Hi. Oh, hello. Mama's gonna buy you is that Christy Gray? Oh, I found a room that can go. Christy? Okay. So, creepy model sliding around. Let's look around a bit. Yes, I am in... I still am kind of in speedrunner mode. Because I'm actually curious at this point. I'm... I want this game to prove me wrong, but we'll see. Also, am I going back? I think I'm going back. <laughs> Bring your mouse to all kidnappings, just in case. It's locked. If I remember right, the CEO always kept hold of the archive room key. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Alright. Let me guess, the archive room key is now magically in this room. No? Break room? CEO? Actually, CEO, okay. Wait a minute! I, I tried every door along the way. Only this one opened. Don't you motherfucking do what I think you're going to do. Oh, wait. There's another path. This is probably over here. Or, wait. Is this the open? I'm confused. Where the fuck am I going? Hmm. This seems like more doors than there should be. All right. Well. I'll just try to crank on the wall. There we go. What? Why is there a crank on the wall? <laughs> Whatever. Turn it. Okay, got the key. Turn the crank. That's how you get in the secret room. It stays cranked, apparently. It's not like a temporary thing. The wall from before. There was a wall? 
So the game's just randomly changing the layout of the level without telling me. Okay, cool. I... So what's over here? I, I, you know what? Fuck, it doesn't technically matter. Ah, fuck it. I'll check anyways. Oh, that opened! I love how many locked doors there are, and then there's just randomly doors that totally work. There we go, Quintus. See if you can work out how to open the door. Wait, which door are we trying to open? Oh, whatever. Let's find the fall of the bit. Uh, the... A A and R representative office, of course. What are you doing, Trip? Quintus, what the fuck? You're moving heavy oh, objects. Quintus, uh, well done, buddy. Um, I'm not gonna ask any questions. I moved the heavy chair. I mean, I guess the mouse could eventually move a chair. Ah, the other crank. Let me guess. These cranks. There's a. There's a nondescript number of cranks. I gotta turn them all to open something, and the game's not gonna tell me when it opens. Dear Alan, I have been your biggest fan since I can remember you. The first time I heard your music, I had knew I had to represent you. We have had a good ride, but unfortunately, with your lack of commitment, the ride is over. Oh, I see. Drafts of writing of... Sorry. I don't know how to tell you this, but after much deliberation and finding your behalf, we're going to have to let you go. Oh, this is the letter we read before. So she was doing drafts. Hmm. Okay, well, I've turned your... Every important staff position gets a crank, I guess. <laughs> Why are there so many doors? To waste my time. Seriously, though, like, it's not terribly obvious every time what doors can open, like this one. This is just a nondescript room. It doesn't have a logo next to it or anything. Also, I might be lost. <laughs> Alright. Um, okay. What is this voice acting? Alan Shaw to be your lawfully wedded husband. I think it's one person voicing all these characters. This is like, here's my girl voice. Here's my old pastor voice. It's like, okay, um... <laughs> I'll turn crank number three, I suppose. I have a mouse magazine. No? Okay. I don't know, man. I feel like the cranks might be an optional objective or something, so I'm just gonna just poke it around. Who puts office chairs around a dinner table? A company that is too cheap to buy an office table. <laughs> that is the answer to your question. Also, where was I supposed to use this key again? <laughs> God, if the crank is an optional objective, I'll give him credit for having a second ending, probably, or something, but... Is the secret room the same in the wall that I just noticed? Because, yeah, we're doing that again. Oh, same on the floor, too. Double whammy. Um, Alright, let's go back to the beginning. Probably have something that I can open something with, right? No? Here. I don't know what- which door is the front door? I thought that would be the front door because it leads right to the lobby, but that seems to be all the office area, so... A little confusing. No, I, I went back to entry intentionally, just to check, see what- I don't remember what- was there supposed to be something this key goes to? Oh, these are supposed to be picture frames of the wall, I guess? I don't know, man. I'm just gonna keep taking right turns until I find something useful. This 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 is another crank, by the way. I I don't know. No, I don't know how to get that one. I think the room's like at the end of this. Yeah, this one. There we go. All right. I, No! Oh, that's rude. Wait, that's dumb. <laughs> what is the hell is this room? Okay, every crank I turned 
has been lining up one, two, three, four shelves to have an opening. You know, if you're really dedicated, you could just crawl between these shelves. That wouldn't be hard. But also, what the fuck is this loadout? Uh, yeah, every important CEO and, like, head personnel person, you get a crank to, like, move the shelves in a completely different room, and you can't tell what how you're moving them. Uh, this is for productivity. We're setting this up. Um, <laughs> what? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> no, I know where the last crank is. I just need to... No, I know where... I don't need to find it. It's right here. I need it, but getting access to it, it's in a box. So the issue is getting access to it. So it looks like the cranks are not optional. You do need to turn the cranks, and the game's not going to bloody tell me how to open this box. Or even give me a hint. Oh, I'm looking. Wait, hold on. Who? <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking. I'm also going through the seam of the of the box to turn the wheel anyways. All right, there we go. We're done. <laughs> I may not be a speedrunner, but I sure find the strats for it. <laughs> okay, but seriously, how was I supposed to get in the box? Because <laughs> that clearly was not the way you're supposed to get in the box. There we go. Now back to the studios. I heard she's in the secret room. Hi. Okay, bye. That, that doesn't work. I, that Those are transparent shelves. You didn't really... I saw you disappear. Alright, whatever. Wait, you think I was intentional? Let's go back. Well... No, that... No... No, no, be, no, this, that's not intentional. That can't be intentional. I can tell you why. First off, no, there's no hole. You're looking at this weird glass pane seam right here. That's what's making you think there's a hole. But I think it's just a case of things being poorly lined up. But interestingly enough, that gap doesn't let me interact with the will. See? Look at this. What lets me interact with the will is when I specifically move it over the actual corner of the box. This opaque corner that's clearly not open is where I can interact with the wheel. So I can tell you right from that 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 was not intentional. This was not what you were supposed to do. There wasn't a, oh, there's a hole. Also, even if there was a small gap, how the fuck would you turn a wheel, logically speaking, with a small gap in a glass? You couldn't. You need to get some decent grip and the right angle on the damn thing. They didn't put the glass in the frame, but ironically enough, what, yeah, I guess there's a gap here somehow through the through the corner, through the actual corner of the, of the it just occurred to me, too. Who would make a secure glass box on one of these shitty-ass metal metal shelf shelvings? You realize this, this shelving can be taken apart and easily toppled, right? You wouldn't even have to break the box. You just have to break the shelving. Which I guess I did, effectively. Turn the wheel. Anyways. The hole's on the other side from where you looked. Oh. Okay, Quintus. See if you can open this one. <laughs> Oh, uh, fair enough. I thought that was just a texture glitch, honestly. When the room was in darkness, especially, that did not look like a hole. It doesn't. It still doesn't look. Look, look at this. Does that look like a hole to you? That looks like something fucking weird. Thank, thanks, Quintus. I didn't need it, but thanks, Quintus. No, that's just. No, seriously. I have seen so many texture glitches in chapter one and two that I looked at that, said, "Ah, oh, they fucked up the glass," and then walked away from it because, yeah. That's not even a hole. They just literally took a bunch of glass rectangles. Oh my god. So, instead of making a glass pane, they shrunk the pane down into a rectangle shape, made it real thin, and then layered, 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 layered it so that there would be a hole and everything else would be technically covered. Also, I think I can use the wheel from here too. <laughs> Yeah, I can. So... <laughs> well, anyways, I'm just kind of impressed how bad that is. That is the problem with horror games, man. Not really... I guess we look at art now. That's, that's nice. Sphinx. Yeah? 
Kill it here, a little heartbeat battering away. Yeah, I can also hear it exploding. It's like, what the fuck is that heartbeat noise? Flea flaw. Flea flaw? Okay, well. Guess I'll go to the end of the hallway. Lost to paradise is not what I would say about this game. My point is, also, I'm being way more critical for Chapter 2, because remember, this is $5. Chapter 1's free, so whatever. I guess it can have whatever critique. Though, granted, if you're going to charge money for chapters past Chapter 1, then Chapter 1 should be goddamn polished, too, when you think about it. So it's, it's just being a free introduction of the game, getting people to want to buy. Because who the fuck would buy... Who, what, who the fuck would go, I don't want to play chapter one, I just want to buy and play chapter two. Like, who the fuck would do that? Nobody would do that. Just, you know, it's chapter based. You wouldn't, you wouldn't play chapter two first. So, chapter one should make a good impression. First impression. Okay, now the electricity is back on. Good observation. It's time to find the buzzer to open the door to the studios. You mean, what's this? Today is our deepest script to announce our sensational angel of the violin, Christine Gray, has sadly passed away. Christy was truly a talent that we'll never be able to replace. The music Christy created was angelic. will resonate our hearts till the end of time. Christy's memory will live on in our beautiful music and through her husband, our very own Alan Shaw. We all wish Alan our prayers during this difficult time. If you need Alan, anything Alan, our drama family is always here for you. Okay, so his wife died. So that proves something. During chapter one, no, his wife did not put out the cake of presents. Alan put out the cake of presents, took a nap, and completely bloody forgot about his daughter's birthday. <laughs> because his wife was dead, so it had to be him, or a family friend, I suppose, but we haven't heard one mentioned. Fucking... Seriously, though. <laughs> oh, it's Lydia's birthday. I thought I'd just set this stuff out for fun, but actually there was a point to it, huh? All right, there's a buzzer underneath the table or something, right? There it is. Memory of a goldfish. They all dealt trauma differently. Apparently, he loses his memory. End of chapter two. Wow. I forgot how impressive this place was. Yeah. I'm... Yeah, what's up, creepy lady? That's probably my wife. Mm hmm you have a lovely jaw, I just want to say. Oh, it's a puzzle. Red, green, blue, and yellow. Okay. Really? Okay. Really? Is that is it really that simple? Hold on. I was like, all right, let's get locked in for a puzzle, but actually. It's not, it's not hard. <laughs> oh boy, color puzzle. Ooh, this is gonna be interesting. Just looks at all the colored numbers. Eight, green eight, red two, yellow three, blue six. That, that wasn't, that's okay. Did Well done. <laughs> I'm not always the best with puzzles, but come on. <laughs> Five, seven, two, four, one. What? Okay. There's a key in there. I'll need it in a second, I suppose. Well, let me guess, I need to enter a 57241. Okay. 57241. Shut up, baby. Hmm? Oh, there's a crypt now. That's cool. <laughs> F sh shut up! I'm trying to read something. All right, let's see. 57241. That is E G B D A. E G B D A. E G B D A? All right. Our baby's exploding, but I need to play the piano. More important. <laughs> you don't need to eat the baby if it's already exploding. <laughs> that tends to eat babies anyways, explosions. <laughs> anyways. Fucking rock of these puzzles, man. Alright, what's the what's puzzle number three? Pick up key and use it? Christy Gray. She was the love of my life. And the mother to Lydia. 
However, I... after a traumatic birth, we lost her. I loved her, and that's why I took a picture of the flowers at her lap and cut her her face. I thought the flowers were pretty than her face, so I took a picture of the flowers. <laughs> yes? Okay, listen, if you're going to go <clears throat> to get somebody's attention, then you just get upset they're looking at you. Then what the fuck's your deal? Ahem, <laughs> excuse me, could you look at me so I could scream at you? Ahem, <laughs> excuse me, I need I need to jump scare you. <laughs> secret room. I remember now. Come on, Lydia, please be here. Why does this secret... Why does your recording studio have a secret room? Why are you so... Blase about it. Oh yeah, the secret room. I forgot about that. That's right, the secret room. You know, we had that. You know, it's where we kept the bad musicians. Mm. <laughs> All right. <laughs> also, late to the rocks. Woo. Eh. No. No. Don't don't sound too convicted about the about that. Are you sure, Quintus? Okay, little buddy. You've got it from here. Yeah, okay. <laughs> um, that's not $5, and Chapter 3 is probably not worth $5, too, at this rate. Playing two chapters gives me a full idea of the experience of this game, and I would definitely wager to say that Chapter 3 is unpolished, too short, and just generally kind of generic. I wonder how many chapters this is planned to have, but honestly, here's the problem with episodic content. Sometimes it works if you create a polished set of uh, sections of game that are well spaced apart. Like, it, it makes sense to have a chapter here, you stop, you wait for the next chapter, you play that. Episodic releases like that can work the same way a TV show releasing over time can work at. That's fine, because, you know, giving the nuggets of uh, content stuff. If it's good content, that's the thing. If it's polished, if it's good. But... Unfortunately, episodic gaming has a bad side, and that bad side is basically when a developer basically tries to nickel and dime you over time with prices that generally are not matching the quality and length of each chapter. I've seen a few developers do the latter, and unfortunately, I would say that Quintus in the Absent Truth is the, la the latest one to do so. This is a reminder that chapter one is free, chapter two is five dollars, chapter three is five dollars, and if there's a chapter four, seems like there's space out of the menu, I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna guess that whatever other chapters after 3 release are also going to be $5. So currently, with chapters 1, 2, and 3, this game is $10. And what has it done? It's made me walk around, spot items... It's made me walk around aimlessly, spot items where I've already looked, have puzzles I can literally break because the game wasn't put together well enough, force me to open drawers pointlessly, force me to open to try doors pointlessly when there's 5 million doors, and basically just not been really much of any sort of worthwhile experience. It's got a cute mouse. That's about it. That's about all I can say for it. Looks like Chapter 3 might make you play as the mouse, if you're lucky, but, eh. Yeah. The Quintus and the Absent Truth is absent of the point of spending five, uh, ten dollars or more on it. <laughs> this is not worth that much. But that's my opinion. That was Quintus in the Absolute Truth.